family and friends and fellow YouTubers, it's Kim here from Kim's Country Corner. And today I am at the Hancock Homestead and Gardens. And I am getting ready to uh, declutter this wall right here. Uh, minimalism seems to be the trend these days. I don't know that I can be a minimalist. Um, I kind of like my things. But this wall right here is somewhat crowded. And yesterday, when my grandchildren were out, my granddaughter ran smack into this thing. And, and it shook. And I was really afraid that some of these items were going to fall on her. And I was very thankful that she hit the side and not the glass paint. So I have decided to go ahead and pack up these items and see if I can live without them for a while. Um, you know, because... For me, of course, my grandchildren are way more important than my items. Um, but I thought while I was packing these away that I would share them with you um, just kind of a, as a um, memory for me. And uh, I thought some of you might be interested, especially like my uh, daughters, might be interested in some of the history behind some of these items. So um, up here on the very top, I have this um, set, it's uh, got a cookie, cookie container here that's in the shape of a barn. It's very old. Um, I think I've had these uh, since our first anniversary. There's a uh, Farmer John here, and he's supposed to be a teapot. I will be wrapping these better. There is a silo back here that's uh, to hold utensils. I had a scarecrow stuck in there. There is um, a set of salt and pepper shakers, a cream, and a sugar, and that makes up the farm set. And I really think this farm set is cute, but uh, not near as cute as my granddaughter. <laughs> So um, I was really scared that a piece of this was going to fall on her yesterday. So these are just going to have to go away until my grandchildren get older. And uh, that's okay. They've been they have been packed away before. And um, so it's just time for them to be packed away again. All right. Okay, so I have the top cleaned off except for the set of salt and pepper shakers. And I have several more um, salt and pepper shakers inside the cabinet. So as I get them out, I will put them on top and I will be putting them with the rest of my salt and pepper shaker collections. Um, one of these days, uh, maybe I'll share my salt and pepper sh shaker collection with you. Alright, so now we're going to go ahead and open up these doors and look at what's inside. Okay, so on the top shelf here, I have glassware, and uh, some of these pieces are uh, very old, uh, might even be considered antiques. Um, I think an antique is classified as anything 50 years or older. Um, the definition may have changed by now, but that's what it used to be. So I'll share with you uh, some of these glass pieces. Most of these came from um, family members. So we'll start with this little sugar and creamer. These are Emma's. This little iron. Man, these are kind of dusty too. When you live in the country, everything's dusty. Okay, and uh, but yeah, it's a little iron candy dish. I just think that is so cute. Okay, I have a little vase here. Um, when John and I went to Silver Dollar City for our uh, honeymoon, 
we actually watched this piece uh, being made. We watched him make it, and we watched him put the little blue design in, and uh, we had to go back later after it had cooled to pick it up, but it was just uh, it's a fond memory from my um, honeymoon. Here is another uh, candy dish. This is an antique piece that was given to us um, by one of John's cousins. Um, when John's aunt passed away, um, they saved him a piece of memory uh, that he could keep. So this, this is from his, um, I think it's Rosemary, from his uh, cousin Rosemary. These were Emma's. I think this little creamer and sugar set is just so cute. And then this glass bowl has an etching in the back of grapes with grape leaves. And we used to have a very large grapevine here on the farm. Um, but in 2005, I think it was, when we had the house fire, um, it also burned down our grape our grape arbor and they just never came back so it's a memory of that this um, large fruit bowl here was given to us on our wedding day um, I was told by the person that gave it to us that it was not brand new that that it was a family heirloom of hers and she just wanted to pass it on so um, I thought that was really neat And yes, I will be wrapping these later. Um, this is a little cup here that says Holy Rosary School. Um, they had these made up when they celebrated their 100th year, which was in 2001. 1901 to 2001. And um, it's really sad because this year, in 2018, they are tearing down the old school. Um, they built a brand new school, which is beautiful, but it's kind of sad to see the old school being torn down. However, the positive thing is, is that a lot of the old wood, the old bricks, a lot of the old things in the school are being um, sold uh, to these repurposing companies. So they are being able to make a little bit of money from it uh, to put into the new school and the education of the Catholic school children. Okay, and then um, another little candy dish with a flower etched in it. A lot of this glassware um, was Emma's or was given to us on our wedding as a wedding present. This here is um, a plate that says 200 years ago, it's on the centennial, 1776 to 1976, and it has John Hancock etched down here. And um, I think that's really neat because, of course, John's name is John Hancock, and uh, they did not have that personalized. That's the way the platter was made. So I'm pretty sure that's the reason uh, his mother purchased this. So yeah, so that's an oldie. Emma was into collecting coins, and uh, so this is one of the plates that she has, and it has coins all the way around it. Um, her coin collections are put away safely. So. Another little dish that was given to us on our wedding day. And uh, on August the 16th, which would be this coming Wednesday, if, um, if John and I were still married, uh, it would be 32 years. Right? 1986 to 2018. 32 years. So, yeah. Almost, almost an antique, but not quite. <laughs> 
course, it looks pretty old. Okay. This is another little candy dish. Um, I believe it was Emma's. I don't know the history on all of these, but I know most of this glassware um, was Emma's. Uh, she enjoyed collecting glassware. And um, so these are hers. My mother did not collect, collect glassware. My mother collected other things, which I'll share with you in a little bit. This is a um, Christmas ornament that my sister got me when she was in Germany. I'll do a close up of that. It's very delicate. So of course I'll leave that out. Put that up here. This was a teacup set that my friends from Eugene Phil got me when I was uh, in the hospital um, and I had to have surgery. So I just kept that because I just think it's so pretty. This is one of Emma's thimbles. She was always sewing. This is a scarf that my mother embroid embroidered. So uh, I will definitely be keeping it None of this stuff is being um, sold or given away, or at least, at least not by me. It's just being put in storage for now. Alright, so there is shelf number one. Okay, we're getting ready to move on to the next shelf. And I don't know if you can tell, but this is the Blue Willow uh, pattern. It is a very, very old pattern. It's usually what you see like in old movies, old westerns, or like Little House on the Prairie, anything that was back in the 1800s. Uh, this is the pattern that you will usually see. And uh, this Blue Willow set um, my mother gave to me on our wedding day. Uh, this was her wedding gift to us. This belonged to her grandmother. Um, my sister gave my daughter um, my mom's mom's set. <laughs> so uh, my daughter has um, her great-grandma's and I have my great grandma's. So anyway, you can figure out all the lineage there. But um, so this is um, my mom's old set, and she had given this to us, like I said, on our wedding day. And um, so I will be wrapping these pieces up and storing them. And uh, let's see what else would interest you on here. This here was my cake topper. Uh, when John and I got married, this was what was on top of the cake. Put it up here. Okay. This little salt and pepper shaker here was my grandmother's on my dad's side. So, um, so, yeah. Okay. Most of this, like I said, is blue willow pattern dishes. This is just a mug I got whenever Jody took me to Pennsylvania. Uh, one of my bucket lists was to see Amish country. So this mug is just a reminder of that trip. The, these little salt and pepper shakers um, my sister picked up for me when she was in Europe. I can't remember which country. She had gone to Europe and she had picked these up for me. They're Dutch shoes. So of course it's going to be one of those countries. But my brother and sister, everyone in my family knows that I like collecting salt and pepper shakers. I always have. And uh, so that's usually a souvenir that I will get. This little teacup here um, was my mother's. 
and uh, it just has on here the anniversaries like first anniversary you give paper second anniversary you give cotton it goes all the way up to the 12th anniversary which is silk oh no it's on the other side too it goes all the way up to the 60th anniversary which is diamonds that's a really cute little teapot is that? Um, but this little salt and pepper shaker set was given to me by one of my siblings um, to go along with my blue willow stuff. All right, and so then the rest of the shelf is blue willow. Just love this platter here. It's very heavy, but uh, it's just beautiful. It's got the entire scene on there. All right, so I'm going to pack away that shelf, and I'll be back. We have um, the sugar and the creamer here. Napkin holder. Teacup with saucer. And then um, this is really interesting. My uh, sister sent this to me. It was out of the Missouri Ruralist. Uh, she knew that I had um, great grandma's set. So she sent this to me and it gives the history of the willow ware and uh, how it came about and how old it is. So um, this was given to me in looks like 1991. That's how old this article is. So this is a really interesting um, piece of information and I want to make sure I pack it into the Blue Willow box. So <clears throat> I want to make mention about the Blue Willow dishes uh, that I have. My mom gave me a complete 12 piece set of uh, blue willow dishes that belonged to my grandmother. Um, however, over the years, uh, as we would find pieces that we liked, such as this picture, we would uh, add to it. However, this picture is not an original. It is a replica uh, that I got in Williamsburg, um, when we had gone out as Girl Scouts and I picked this up and okay so moving on to the next shelf uh, we'll show you some of the things that my mother used to enjoy collecting and that is what is called milk glass um, and it's glass that looks like milk <laughs> it's the name milk glass and uh, so here's a little chicken set bowl. A candy dish. And another little candy dish. And um, I have to agree with my mother. I just think milk glass is uh, really neat looking. Um, this would be, probably be uh, one of my favorite collections to do. I, I personally have not started collecting milk glass, but the only pieces I have are ones that belong to my mother. But um, I think if I were to go out um, antique shopping, flea market shopping, milk glass would be the thing I would look for. I, I just don't do that. I, I don't have the money to do that. So I have to... Um, just appreciate the things that have been passed down to me and things that have been given to me. So there would be my mother's collection of things or her uh, milk, milk glass. Um, and uh, 
And besides milk glass, my mother did like to collect uh, little salt and pepper shakers too. Um, I don't think she really got into it quite as much as I do. Um, but I know that uh, different salt and pepper shakers of hers have been passed on down to me. Um, this would be one of the sets. And then I have some others that are in storage. So, yes, my mother did like salt and pepper shakers too. <laughs> and milk glass. All right, so let me get these packed securely up and uh, we'll move on. Our Emma's dishes. I think that's a beautiful pattern. It's got little roses going around the edge. So, um, her soup terrine is up in our kitchen on display. But these are a few pieces that I have down in here. The gravy bowl, serving plate, I mean serving bowl. Tea cup, tea saucer. So, um, another thing I want to share is um, my brother does a lot of traveling for mission work, and uh, he brought me back this uh, Russian nesting doll, and uh, it just comes apart where each doll just gets smaller and smaller. Oh, that one feels tight. I'm not going to force that because I don't want to break it. But um, I have taken them all apart, and the, the littlest doll is like about this high. Just the cutest thing. And then when he was over in Singapore, I think it was Singapore, um, he brought me back these wooden shakers. They're really pretty. And then um, this is really old. My mother gave this little... Um, jewelry box to me when I graduated college with my teaching degree. It says teacher across there. Okay, we are down to the very last shelf. And um, you won't be able to see me, but you've seen me throughout most of this taping, so it's okay. Um, the last shelf has just mostly cups that I have collected over the years. And then these were John and my wedding chalices that we drank our wine from. They looked a lot prettier back then. They need to be cleaned up too. But yeah. These were given to us by our best friends, Rusty and Richard Adam. They read at our wedding and they gave us those uh, in memory of our wedding. And then these little salt and pepper shakers, these are to go with Emma's set here. This was John's. It even has his name on there. Or not his name, it has his initials. And as you can tell, it is really old. This is baby cup. All right, and then some of the cups I have down here is a memory cup from the Grand Canyon trip. Um, the Grand Canyon was one of my bucket list, and uh, so we went out to see it, and that was a memory mug. This is a mug that I believe it was my mother gave me one year. Uh, it's, it's a Norman Rockwell. Looks like motherly love is the theme. These two mugs I got when I worked as a teacher for Eugene Field Elementary. It says, you make a difference. And it has an apple on there. So a couple more teaching mugs there. I have a couple of mugs here from um, the Cardinals anniversary, 100th anniversary from 1892 to 1992. I have a couple, a couple of mugs here from the 125th anniversary of Holy Rosary Parish from 1884 to 2009. 125th there. I have a 
have some more of the glass mugs to commemorate the Holy Rosary School 100th, which I've already told you about. This is what I got when I was in college at Central Missouri State University. Um, my university school colors were red and black. And we were the mules. CMSU mules. I don't think it's called Central Missouri State University anymore. It's called University of Central Missouri, I think. They changed the name. And then these goblets I got one year. Uh, it's been a long time ago. John and I went on the Mark Twain Riverboat in Hannibal, Missouri for our anniversary. And uh, so we got these memory uh, glasses. Can't remember what they had in them. It was a really nice drink. Like a pina colada, I think. So, alright. That's it, guys. I'm going to get all this memory stuff wrapped up and put away. And then I'll have my son-in-law and, and hopefully his brother can haul this out and store it in the shed and uh, keep it nice for later down the road or Maybe one of my daughters will want it eventually someday. Okay, friends, so as you can tell from this video, I have a lot of memory keepsakes. And, uh, you know, they do bring back a lot of fond memories, but I can have those memories without these things sitting around. So I'm just going to pack them away, at least for now, and try to see if minimalism is something I can do. But I had a lot of fun today telling you the stories behind everything. And um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, could you please give me a thumbs up? And if you want to know more about my life and what I do, uh, please hit that subscribe button for Kim's Country Corner. Alright, that's it for today. Talk to you later. Bye for now. Okay, friends, so this is where the cabinet used to be, and um, I think it opens this up nicely. I'll show you a view this way. Um, this shelf here will probably be the next thing to go, maybe, if I can find some place for it. Um, this is my memory shelf of my children, and I'm not sure I'm ready to pack them away yet. <laughs> so... This may be staying somewhere in the house. I might actually be moving this into my bedroom. Alright, so there is what the hallway looks like now. It's more open. Let me go from the door and look the other way. Okay, so I'm standing at the back door. And um, this is what that wall now looks like. It's a lot more open. And uh, so I'm happy with it. And hopefully the children won't be bumping into things and hurting themselves. Okay, I'll talk to you guys later.